Hello, I'm John and I'm back again with another product spotlight. Today we're looking at something a little different from Atlas. So let's go over to the workbench and see what it is. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an O scale 45 foot refrigerator trailer from Atlas. Looking at Atlas's website, I found six different paint schemes and these go for $41.95. That's the MSRP. As usual, I suggest to shop around. You'll probably find it for less if you look. And the other thing I always recommend is to go to Atlas's website and see if they have the one you're looking for. This one represents old style light lager beer. The paint and markings on this trailer are really, really good. And it has a lot of very fine rivet detail that I think adds to the look. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it, to me, it's cool looking. I don't know how else to put it. And something I didn't mention a second ago, but I'll mention now is that this model comes with an extra piece of equipment or parts to add. And what that is, is this thing. I don't know what these are called, but I know a lot of truckers watch this channel. So if you can tell me what that's called, just put a comment in the comment section below this part here. I know that these crank down so that the trailer can be held up when there's no truck attached to it. Well, the other spare parts that it came with have these little legs in the up position. So if you had a tractor that you wanted to attach this to, or a truck, you could do that by replacing the part. It just snaps out. So what are those called? I just call them skids, but you know, what do I know? <laughs> so let us know what those are if you know the answer. I'm positive someone out there knows the answer to that question. From this angle, you can see all the rivet detail I was talking about. And then you can also see a refrigeration unit molded on the end. And here's the other side that we didn't look at yet. I figured we'll just go around this model since we don't have a whole lot to look at on it. But the thing I find most interesting is what you're about to see. Right? So you had to figure the back of this truck would be pretty cool because much like shipping containers, trailers like this have all kinds of latch and hinge detail. And the way they've done it on this model is very convincing. Something else as I'm looking at this, I'm noticing it has mud flaps down here. And look at the lights. And you know what I'm thinking? How cool would it be to light those up? We have all these little surface mount LEDs now. I think that could be made to look really cool. Something I've discovered as I'm examining the detail on this door on the back of the thing is that these latches actually work. If you look, you can see they move and the, oops, all of these move. And it looks like these are working locks and these hinges, four of them look like working hinges. So these doors probably open. I'm not going to do it though, because I'm afraid that I'll break something. All of these details are very delicate and I don't know the trick to opening these. So maybe if you know the trick to opening these doors, you can share that information in the comment section. I really want to open them because I want to show you and I'm sure they open. I just am afraid to break something on this model. That's the last thing I want to do because it's such a nice model. Here's a view of the bottom of the model. And you can see over on the right side there that there's actually two different holes you could use to hook this up to a fifth wheel. Strangely, and I'm not sure why this is the case, but Atlas does not show matching tractors for these trailers. I'm sure they must manufacture them at some point in time because they wouldn't have a trailer that you couldn't hook up to a tractor, right? But they just don't happen to be on the website right now. So 
just a mystery, but I guess if you wait long enough and check in on their website every so often, eventually you'll find them. And I mentioned before about these little skid thingamajigs. This is how you remove the piece that's in here. You have to do it carefully because it just has two little pegs that hold it in place. But it's pretty simple to remove that if you want to put the one that has the raised legs on it. I think this is a really cool model. The only thing I regret is not being able to open the doors on the back of the trailer. Maybe there's something cool in there. Okay, maybe not, but it would be cool to open the doors anyway. And I think it would be a great idea, if you're listening, Atlas, to maybe include some instructions on how to get those doors open without breaking the model. And if there's a trick that you know, and you're watching this video now, let us know. Put a comment in the comments section below and give us your hot tip on how to open those doors without breaking something. Anyway, I'll see you next time.